Hello, everyone, and welcome to Standing Strong with Raylan Myers. I want to be well, honest, and expiring as I'm here to encourage people that it's okay to talk about certain things to help lift them up and to know they are shown. I hope you enjoy this show as much as I love putting it together. Sit back and enjoy. This is Standing Strong with Waylon Miles. As I'm strong and I know my life is very important. Draw out the bullies because your life is important. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Standing Strong with Waylon Myers. I am Waylon Myers, and I am very excited to be bringing you all this show as I want to be real, honest, and inspiring and make a difference in other people's lives. Before the start, of every interview, I will be reading an inspirational quote, and today's quote is, never be bullied into silence. Never allow yourself to be made a victim. Accept no one's defection of your life. Defy yourself. And now, this, is the very first episode of Standing Strong with Waylon Myers. And my very first guest is none other than Shelly Geis. I hope you all enjoy this video. So everyone, please enjoy. Thank you. And now, everyone, let me introduce to you the very first guest on Standing Strong with Waylon Myers, Shelly Grace. Hello, Shelly. How are you? Hi, Waylon. I'm doing great. How are you? I am doing well. Can you explain a little bit about yourself to the viewers? I am... Uh... Living in Kansas. I used to live in Pennsylvania, worked with Waylon at Walmart. Um, my husband and I moved to the state of Kansas five years ago to start a church. And we have been working and making friends and trying to build that church in this community uh, for five years now. So it's been a struggle, but it's been fun. So it is great to see Waylon again and be able to chat even from afar. Yep, it's nice to see you in five years has been a long time. It doesn't yes. seem like it's been five years, but it has. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> Were you a victim of bullying? If so, how did you overcome it? And if not, what advice would you give on bullying? I wouldn't say that I was actually a victim of bullying. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I struggled with having friends when I was younger and in high school. I didn't have a lot of friends. And uh, oh, my computer's being weird here. There we go. Um, <laughs> I didn't have a lot of friends. Um, I struggled because I was really shy and quiet and mm -hmm. different than everyone. Um, but I wouldn't say that. I was bullied, just uh -huh. wasn't accepted Yeah, a lot. Um, but as far as um, not bullying, I mean, I would say accepting people for who they are is huge yeah. Um, yeah. because everybody's different. Everybody has quirks and different personalities and just allowing people to be themselves mm -hmm. is the most important thing. I think even I'm currently an a, uh, office manager in a medical office and 
as a leader, that's part of it is allowing people just to be themselves because yeah. bullying happens as adults as well uh -huh. as, yeah. you know, kids in school. It happens in the workplace as well. Yep, it does. It does. One hardship did you experience in your life and what were some ways you overcame them? Well, I've had a lot of hardships in my mm -hmm. life um, with two kids, especially, you know, that uh -huh. presents its own issues. But, um, you know, I've had some some struggles with where I want to be in life as far as my career. Uh -huh. I managed a retail store for a long time, worked there for 10 years and managed it. And um, when it changed, district managers had a lot of issues and ended up leaving that job because of those issues and struggling from that point to figure out where I wanted to be. And just, um, I think taking a step back, mm -hmm. focusing on myself and where I wanted to be in life and trying to figure out what made me happy, not what would make me the most money, what made me happy and what I enjoyed and taking that path and having my husband as a huge support of whatever it was, wherever I wanted to go was big. So just having somebody in your life that supports you and says, even if it's crazy, go for it, I think is, is huge and very important. Yep, yep. How do you relieve or manage stress? <laughs> That's a difficult one for me <laughs> yeah. right now. I have a lot of stress right now in my life. And um, for me, um, I'm a musician, I play the piano. Mm -hmm. So playing the piano relieves stress, but I can't always do that because of other people in the house and yeah. bothering them. Uh -huh. um, so I also have, I go to the gym and work out. That works out for me really well to relieve mm -hmm. stress. But sometimes it's just as simple as taking a cup of coffee in my Bible and sitting out back where my wind chimes are and listening to the wind chimes and the birds and mm -hmm. just being by myself and relaxing. Up, yep, listening to the birds is relaxed. Yes. Do you have a favorite inspirational quote that sticks to you to never give up? I don't know that I actually have a favorite quote. My go to is typically worship songs uh -huh. um, that I, you know, will go to to lift me up and keep me from going down the path of frustration. And, yeah. you know, most of the time it's just putting on out here in Kansas, our local Christian radio stations, Life 88.5. Uh -huh. And I'll just put that on and, you know, listen, listen to the DJs. They're very uplifting in their comments. And, uh, you know, just go to, typically Lauren Daigle is one of my favorite, uh, artists right now uh -huh. so her music very very much uplifts me and awesome. keeps me going yeah that's great one or your favorite music artists that help you unwind but well, lauren daigle definitely is one um but uh for king and country is another group that i just love and you know pretty much any of the the songs that are very uplifting uh -huh. they they talk about you know how life can be crappy and you know you're yeah. struggling but there's always there's always a reason to move on there's always light at the end of the tunnel and yep. those are just the biggest ones for me yep yep music does ease the mind so yes. How have you, ex how have your experience affected your life long-term, good or bad? Did those experiences change your goals or change the direction of your career? Um, yeah, they've definitely changed where I am in life. When I was coming out of high school, going to college, mm -hmm. my choice was a uh, music teacher nice, is what nice. I went to college for. Um, my music teacher in high school did not encourage me. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, she basically told me I wouldn't be able to do it. Wow. Wow. 
and I pushed and went anyway. Um, mm -hmm. Got partway through, I did about three years actually of college and realized that's truly not what I wanted to do. I love music and I love playing music, but the more I thought about teaching it, I had just really had no desire to do that. Yeah, um, yeah. I gave private piano lessons, that was fine, but teaching in a classroom setting, I just decided was not for me. Um, so I didn't like drop out of school uh -huh. just to drop out. I ended up getting married. My husband was in the military. We moved to Georgia. Yeah. So, you know, life just kind of got in the way. And then, uh -huh. like I said, then I worked retail for several years after being a stay at home mom for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I did enjoy it until, you know, the situation happened with the district manager and things just got really bad. And that's when um, my cousin actually came into the store and dropped in my lap a thing from Venango campus mm -hmm. for medical billing and coding. Yeah. And it was an evening course for returning adults that would take about a year to complete. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, that sounds like something I could do. And that's what I've been doing ever since. Been almost mm -hmm. 20 years now. Wow. Wow. That I've I been doing that. Yeah. Yeah, there's so, a lot of people out there that will say you can never accomplish anything in your life, but it's only you that have the power to do it, not right. anyone else in your life, you know? Absolutely. Yep. It doesn't matter what anyone says. And I'm still, you know, I still play the piano. Mm -hmm. I still sing. You know, I gave private piano lessons for years. Now it's pretty much just for my enjoyment. But if I had listened to that music teacher in high school, I mm -hmm. would have stopped even playing the piano. Yeah. Because she was that, you know, condescending and discouraging. Yeah, yeah. And you don't want to have that kind of people in your life. No. Or negativity. So, yeah. What movie has impacted your life to this day? Oh, a movie. Um, honestly, I probably don't have an answer for that one because mm -hmm. I'm not a movie person. Yeah. I don't watch a lot of movies. Um, I mean, I like The Greatest Showman. I like that movie, but I wouldn't really say I just like the music. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Usually if I watch a movie, it's because it has a really good soundtrack. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't think that there really is one, to be honest. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to discuss before we wrap up this interview? Um, I think just for anybody listening, um, find what you love, follow mm -hmm. your dreams. Don't let anyone discourage you. Surround yourself with people that lift you up and build you up. If they are not doing that, they're not truly your friends and mm -hmm. they need to be on the back burner. They can still be acquaintances, but do not make them an important part yep. of your life. Yep. When I first met Shelly, I was kind of discouraged myself because I found the job I was doing was it for me. And Shelly always gave me positive advice. So I thank you for that, Shelly. It has been a pleasure to work with you. Yes, I really enjoyed working with you at Walmart. And don't let anyone ever tell you that you're not worthy or that you can't do something. Yep. Because you are a wonderful human being and people people that say otherwise don't know you. Yeah, yeah, true. Well, Shelly, it was an honor to have you as my first guest on Standing Strong with Raylan Myers. Always be real, honest, and inspiring. Thank you so much, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you, Aylin. It was great talking with you. Yep, nice talking to you. Bye. Bye. You have just watched Standing Strong with Waylon Myers. Follow the show on social media, on Trill, at SSW Waylon Myers, on Instagram, Standing Strong with Waylon Myers, and on Facebook, Standing Strong with Waylon Myers. Always be real, honest, and expiring. Until next time, have a good one, y'all.